because it's the first time using this this tool uh, it's been recommended that we use a helmet to in ensure the, that in case the bull kicks jack in case the bull kicks rears up and yeah, yeah i think yeah. that's a good idea the likelihood of any bloke you know having this done to him uh, it's, it's, he's not going to go into the sunset quietly is he jack well i think it's you know more to do with um this is my first time doing it. Right. So it could be... Um, yes. Yeah. Somehow, I believe on the uh, YouTube online videos, there's maybe some details missing. I'm quite amazed at how well behaved the studio bulls are. <laughs> G'day everyone, today's another episode where we've got some livestock proving that we are actually a cattle station. <laughs> so today we are lucky enough to have Dr. Don Finley, who's a vet based down in Southwest and he comes up to do muster work and vet work on the livestock at Wongawal Station and Carnegie Station, who are our neighbours. You might remember Brendan from an earlier episode where we did a mail run in the plane and then we did a barbecue run. So, absolutely awesome to have Don here, and you may have seen the tool that Don's about to tell us about in a video when we did our first day of cattle work, and he's going to tell us a little bit more about it today, but we've got a nice pen of cattle to be able to run through and have a bit of a demo with, and learn a little bit more about how we should be doing some better stock handling, and what the purpose of an oral distraction device is. So. Thanks again, Don. Yeah, thanks, Jack. Uh, Anthony, when I started out this morning at 6.15 from Wongawal, I didn't realize that it would be such a professional group of individuals, uh, including Mrs. Carmody this morning. Thank you for hosting me. I got to show my product today, and, and it was only for a minute number of procedures, but we have 104 videos on our YouTube channel, Easy Boss E, of using distraction and fear reduction in cattle procedures. You can have all of your low stress handling uh, schools and training and experts, but I began to think there's very few countries in the world where an animal is not caught by its neck for some medical procedure, identification, or other. And other probably includes 50 things. And, and at that point where they're caught, that's your stressor that we've sort of overlooked. It's too simple. Sometimes this actual thing is too simple at ag trade shows and things like this, I'm sure we've been passed by because it's, there's no bells and whistles on this. It's just this. What, what, Lego? Lego? A little swallow. That's the way down. proper insertion to the corner of the lip. To the corner of the lip. Yeah. They've they've swallowed it. Yep. Okay. I'll do the nails. Yep. Let's do the nails, and then we'll go through a. Yeah. Do the video here. Yeah. Easy peasy. There they go. That's it. Pull your easy bossy out. Yep. <laughs> Past me. It hasn't fallen out of the end. That's the trouble with just using the speculum. Can we push for, it? For it to come out the end. 
<laughs> sometimes there's you a, a blow on sometimes there's a blow or a broomstick involved. Okay, just wait, see if it comes up. Because I haven't got a proper bowling gun here. And Jack's bowling gun doesn't fit those. Like this? Yep. See how that gate's now open? And then I just do the release. Yep. Which is the way. And you let go and spring return. Done. Let's try this here. You put it all the way in. <laughs> it right. I was getting a good photo of how far in you um. She just had an injection. She didn't jump. Is Andrew coming back? Oh no, we're good. She's got both tags. She's good to go in now. Okay. Alright, when, when you're ready. Easy boss E tool going in. You're a good little fella, aren't you? Just be careful. <laughs> he might blow up. He's got all this up and down that he can move. Okay. Trying to steer them from it. Squashed. Mm. Yeah. Good girl. Come on. All the way. Yeah, I'm working on it. Yeah. Come on, Missy. There we go. Multiple flies. All right, and Ant, you're on the needles. Yep. Okay, which ones? All three. All three, I'm gonna work from back in front. Okay, so, where? Here? Yeah. yeah. Okay, we'll one. We'll see that one's done. You can go ahead further if you want. No, I'll go there. Go there. Okay, that one's that one done. How much you got there? Here, I'll show you. Okay. Didn't even move. Okay, no, that's good because you want to mix it no, up. Oh, I right? like that yep. spot. Yeah, I like that spot. I learned that uh, 2009 at Dairy Creek. Well, there's two. We don't want to get you wound up, mate. Yeah, we're going to wind something else up. Mm. I'll turn around here, he's following the camera. That's uh, Meloxicam, Medicam, 40 milligrams per mil, 1.25 mil per 100 kilograms. And 10 minutes before the painful procedure. All right, so okay. put him in the bale, we'll give put him, him the bale. Put him in the bale and we'll give him his... Uh... Medicam. Oh, sorry. So, what we're using is a... American design head bale called a prefert. An easy bossy would have been helpful. Uh, <laughs> so the the head bale that we're using here is a friction lock system, spring friction lock, but it's a prefert from United States, and we do joke a little bit about it because hey, 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 
on the picture where it says made in America, it says in God we trust. <laughs> we occasionally joke that you would have to with this head bar because sometimes it's... It gives. Jack, Jack, I really wish you told me that before I stood here with the camera. No, oh, you can get around. Yeah. Distraction is not guaranteed, but then... What is? Any medicine is not guaranteed. Right. You can use chemical immobilization, tranquilization, sedation, and have some really rude surprises as well. Now yeah, I've had that with alcohol. Yeah, <laughs> that could be. <laughs> We'll leave it at alcohol. <laughs> I can see and he's got his uh, he's got his safety gear on. Now look, I've, I've taken a knock to the head from cattle before, so I, I'm not keen on doing it again. No, I'm right there with you, Jack. All right, let's give this a go. I hope his back end is as still as his front end. Um, yeah, it seems to be. You're heading back in the slot, the tension slot. Yeah, I've got my eyes on that tension slot. It's taken a good couple of turns. We've got three bounds around. I'm almost at the end of the tension. We're at the end of the tension. I'm going to use the crimp. The crimper. Crimp. Hope it's a good crimp. Now we pull it out tight, put the tool in, and they say do it as quickly as you can, but make sure you've got safety glasses on. Jack. It looks like it's on there. Jack, I'm going to give you five stars. <laughs> You can stamp your meal pass double sweets, mate, for that effort. And the key, key things we want to look at here is making sure that we're not up against the body. We're not too far up against the body. We've got the, both, both testicles in there. Yeah, that's... Geez, I tell you what, the fact that he's flapping his tail, he's calm up the front with that bossy tool. Easy boss tool. Easy boss tool. Oh, easy bossy. Easy bossy. Yeah, because there's an E at the end. I mean, that is incredible for so compared well, to the other stuff we were doing, Jack. Other what, methods we've seen. Yeah. So, Don, is it just uh, is it just you? Are you the whole of Easy Bossy, or have you got a team there? And where are they like? I've I've got a very good team. Um, um, uh, first off would be. Uh, my brother in Canada, okay. Norman Finley, the best at putting things together and managing uh, the website. Media, uh, videography, editing, everything. It's Terry Sharp in Bunbury. In fact, today she was actually sending a text to give Jack the heads up, not to call it the tool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we can't just call it the special tool. It, it's going to be the easy, bossy tool. Right. The fact that uh, that thing's looking at us from behind, do we need to worry about... Um, Bunty? No. no. He's got hay. Okay. And he's eating all of that, so he, okay. he's just having a little... Okay. Because it'd, it'd, it'd be pretty ordinary if we're talking about a pacifier tool and then got run over by a bull. Well, you know funny I mean? you should say that, that sometimes when you're searching for the easy bossy tool and it hasn't been identified and you can't remember what it is, mm. people will look for a cattle pacifier and... Effectively, um, it, it does, it pacifies the animal. It, it calms them down, it soothes them by distracting them. It's just like a kid when they're teething, you know, they give them a rusk. a rusk or a dummy yep. and they're, they're happy. I forget the term in Ireland for the soother. Whiskey? No. <laughs> <laughs> and the rest of my team uh, would be Dr. Jim Comrie, Minnedosa Vet Clinic. Manitoba, Canada. Jim was uh, instrumental in doing some of the first video at his farm and introducing it to his veterinary customers. David Morrison from uh, Bellamoney, County Antrim, Northern Ireland. And uh, my son is included in the team, Patrick Finley, 
he did some of the first uh, video for me to read a tattoo on a cow. Uh, he was 12 years old. I, I, I may have missed someone. Like Thinking about the Easy Boss A tool here, Don, it's, you know, I, I hadn't heard of it until you called me up and we had a chat about using it. And so it's good to be able to get the message out there, but do you have any idea how many of these you've sold in Australia, globally, and what your uptake is? No. <laughs> right. Good answer. Good so answer. if anyone wants to find out how effective it is for themselves. If... You've got to be in the cattle industry though, Jack. Yeah, yeah, this isn't going in the bedroom. No. <laughs> um, so... Um, yeah, like uh, our testimonials on the w uh, website are from around the world. Endorsement from the University of Minnesota. These animals have never been exposed to this device and it worked. We're talking about wild cattle and being able to take a simple tool to calm them down and distract them so we can handle them and perform any work that we need to on them without risk of damaging ourselves or damaging the animal. Or chemical uh, residues from sedatives. Well, the withholding period on this is nil. So that's... Um... It's less than nil. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, well, thank you very much for joining us today, Don, and I hope that we can uh, make a video good enough for you. <laughs> well, that'll be fine. <laughs>